Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. We are talking Pinterest hacks today. Um, I did a lot of research on Pinterest just to see what works, what doesn't work, some crazy, there's fluffs flying. There are crazy accusations out there on different things to make your everyday beauty routine a little bit easier, although it may include a little bit odd things. <laughs> So I am interested to try these out. I have five for you guys. I am excited to try these out. All of the things I do have to share with you are something you can do in your everyday beauty routine. Without further ado, let's try these Pinterest hacks. So first off, we have the red lipstick concealer hack. I think what you do is you take the, um, I'm gonna use the NARS Matte Velvet one just because that's what I have on hand. And I think you are supposed to put this under your eye and kind of, I don't know, just like blend it out. Um, I'm prepared for it to look a little crazy, like I'm a serial killer or something. And then I'm not exactly sure if you're supposed to put concealer on top of it. I guess I'm gonna do one side of my face with the red concealer and then the other half with just a normal everyday like naked skin concealer to see if there's actually a difference when you put this underneath your concealer. So I have my mirror just right here on this side of the camera so that's what I will be looking into. Okay so oh I'm gonna do this side of my face with the red lipstick thing. So let's just go for it I guess. Oh this is this is so weird. Oh god, I'm nervous. I feel like I'm putting way too much. I look horrible on camera, oh my god. So I, I am just supposed to like, blend it out? Oh gosh, I feel like I put way too much. How am I supposed to blend this out? Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of it off. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this off because I feel like I really overdid it. Okay, that's a, that's a little better, right? I could blend this out. And I don't know if this makes a difference that this is red and like staining has a lot of like lasting power. All right, I look like I have a black eye. Okay, well, I don't know. I guess the red undertone is supposed to like diffuse the blueness in the, in your under circles. So I am going to take the Naked Skin Concealer and just blend this out on this side and on this side and I look super sick, wow. So I'm just gonna, I guess put concealer over it? See, the problem with this, I feel like, is you have to use a lot more concealer than you do, like, on this side of my face because you have to get rid of the red so you don't look like you have a black eye. Okay, so we are up close and personal, but this is the side of my face that I did the red lipstick under. I don't know if you can tell a huge difference, and then this is the side with just normal concealer. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like in the viewfinder, this side is a little bit more blue toned than this one. Although I did use more, um, I did use more concealer on this side to get rid of the red um, lipstick that I did put there. So I do feel like this side is a little bit less of a blue tone. They still see my dark circles. I mean, I do all the time. I don't know. It's hard to say. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below and tell me if this really worked. It's hard for me to tell right now, but I think there's less of a blue undertone in this side. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go off camera for a second and do my foundation and the rest of like my face makeup. Nothing to do with my eyes or anything, so I'll be right back. 
So I did zoom you guys in. I am completely done with my face makeup, including my eyebrows. And now that I look at it, I cannot see the side of my under circles, but I can see this side. Although this side, I feel like does look a little pink around my eyes. So, I mean, pro and con there. Um, I definitely do think that this eye got covered, this under eye circle got covered up a lot more than this one, particularly because I asked my mom when I went upstairs um, which one she could see my dark circles on the most, which side, like which eye, and she said this one. So obviously if other people can tell the difference without you telling them which side you're trying, um, that's a good thing. Next I'm going to do the spoon and eyeliner hack and so I'm gonna take a spoon to make the supposedly perfect winged liner um, and I am going to use my Kat Von D little mini trooper eyeliner now this one I'm the most worried about I don't know how I'm supposed to hold it this looks so funny I don't know how I'm exactly supposed to hold it okay I don't know how to do this ah okay so you just go like I'm assuming, oh god, this is going to be horrible. I, 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 <laughs> okay, so next I am supposed to use like I don't even know. That's not right. Do I do this? Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna whack my eye. Ah! Oh god, I'm so shaky. Okay. Wow. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, well, you know what? There's just like no salvaging this, so I'm just gonna do the other side. This is for funsies. Oh. Oh, is that how I was supposed to do it? I think I did it wrong. I think I'm supposed to go like this. So, put it right there. See? That side looks better. I think I did something wrong the first one. I mean, this side definitely turned out better than this side. There really is no salvaging like this side. I mean, should I just do the rest of the video like this? I'm gonna do it. So this side turned out good. I don't know if I did the side wrong, if I held the spoon the wrong way. Feeling I have to held the spoon the wrong way. So my next hack is to put a translucent powder with just like a domed brush on your eyelashes to volumize them. So I am going to do this side with my translucent lashes and this side just regular mascara. So I just got some. Do you go like up? I'm scared I'm gonna get in my eyelash or in my contact. These lashes are now super white. I don't really know how much I'm supposed to do with this. My next hack kind of goes hand in hand with this. It is warming up your mascara before you use it. In order to warm up my mascara, I'm just gonna like sit on it for a couple minutes. Um, first I am gonna do this side of my eye, just with the normal mascara. Um, it says that warming it up kind of maybe loosens the liquid of the mascara a little bit, goes on a little bit better. So I am just going to coat the shitty eye. Okay, so I have one set of eyelashes done. And I'm just gonna sit on this for a couple minutes. Just hang out. Maybe leave me a comment down below if there's a Pinterest hack that you want me to try in the future. I think these videos are very fun. Um, definitely getting to try out different hacks that may be awesome and may super look horrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm killing it with this wing. See, I, I voted for sitting on this mascara versus like putting it in the microwave because I really didn't want exploding mascara. Then I couldn't do the video.
When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. if it looks too different. I do see powder on my contact though. So this is the side that my mascara was warmed up and I put the, um, the translucent powder on my eyelash first. This is a side that did none of those. I do think warming up your mascara made it go on a lot easier. This is a mascara that is almost dried out and so sitting on it I feel like kind of warmed it up a little bit and applied it a little bit more easy and it wasn't so dry. And my last hack for everyone is basically it, it's, it's this. Um, you put a dryer sheet in your hairbrush to get rid of... You put a dryer sheet on your hairbrush to get rid of your frizzed hair. I realize my hair is not frizzy right now, but it will be. Okay. Ooh, actually I kind of like that. Do I even have to use this? I should not have worn black jeans today. I don't know. I would say it's kind of a pain to put a dryer sheet into your hairbrush every single day. I would not recommend it. So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you did enjoy this video and comment down below if there's any other Pinterest hacks you would like to see me try in the future. I love doing these videos. They're so much fun to make. They're a little bit different and add a little bit more like pizzazz to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!